Welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to design any complex gate at the transistor level using MBOS and PMOS transistors. Now, in terms of background, you need to watch the previous three videos. So let's consider that we want to create something like y equals a b plus c v a all these numbers. So let's let's think a little bit about this logic function. First of all, this is going to be low when A and B or C D is these ones are high. And over here we can also develop this a little bit further that we can do that this is going to be A not plus B plus C D, which is equal to A not plus B not and C D not, which is equal to A not plus B. C plus D. Okay, so we have everything that we need to, to do the design. So first of all, let's start with the pull down network, meaning when is the output going to be a logical low? You have that A, A needs to be, this is added, right? So it is in series, so we have a transistor there. We're going to need to have a transistor. A and MOS in series with because of the AND operation with B here, which is in parallel, this is an OR, or all this CD, meaning C, this is in series with an AND or D. Meaning, if A is on and then B is on, for instance, you will have a path to ground, you will have a logical low. Or if A is on and C and D are on, you will have also a path to ground. This is the pull down network, meaning pulls the output down to a logical low. It puts it, connects the output to ground. If all these transistors are conducting, meaning if A, I mean, <laughs> all these transistors, if, when A is conducting and then either B is conducting or A is conducting and C and D are conducting, meaning you have the right logical levels. Now, to conduct a Edmund MOS transistors, you need to have a high voltage at the gate. So let's create now the pull-up network, meaning uh, when are we going to have a logical one? And this is the reason why I did this Boolean algebra here. This is high when A is low or B is low and D, C or D, C or D are low. And so let's do it. A and this is always going to be complementary. So if A was in series with B and C, D, here A is going to be in parallel with, right? That's what you see there with this OR. So we have A, we are using the logical symbol for the PMOS that is used in digital design, as opposed to this one that is typically analog. B, D, D, this is A. And then we have an OR, and what do we have here? We, well, we have BDD, and we have B in series with, so this is B in series with C or D. 
So that's a parallel combination. C or D. So that's our design here. Now, if we wanted to, to invert it, we can put an inverted at the output. Let's see how this will work for some values. So let's consider that, let's consider this situation. So we have A is equal to one, B is equal to zero, C is equal to zero. Let's consider that. And B is equal to, let's say, A zero. So in this case, this is on, A is high, so this is conducting on, but B is off, so there is no path to ground here. This is an open switch. And this is off, and this is off. So there is no path from white to ground. There needs to be a logical high somewhere. As you can see, this is on. Um, all these others are also on. So actually, there is a path here to BDD and a path through the other. So what do we get here? A one, meaning the output equals BDD. Let's do another example, another color. A is equal to one, B is equal to one, C is equal to zero, D is equal to zero. As an example. So in this case, what do we have? On, okay, so this conduction here, this like, think of it as a, res a small resistor. And on, so if that happens, on and on, this is going to give you a zero. We will notice that if we do the rest of the analysis that there is no other path to BDD, meaning this is off, so this path does not work, and B is off, and so if this is an open, there's not going to be path. Remember, in CMOS, we have complementary, and so this network at the, at the bottom, the pull-down network, is complementary to the pull-up network. Only one is going to be conducting at a particular time. So as you can see, any logical function that you know how to implement on your basic digital systems, uh, digital circuits, now you should be able to do it at the transistor level using MMOS and PMOS transistors. And this is the beginning of CMOS IC design. Other topics that you learn later are, well, how do you size these transistors, as well as how do you create sequential logic, etc. But this is a good start to see how absolutely all the fundamental building blocks in digital, which are going to create the combinational logic, the sequential logic, the memories, and everything that you need all the way up to create, say, a microprocessor, can be done at the transistor level using and more technology. Thank you.